Hi guys, so it's going to be an update for my fiddle leaf fig. This is plant number one. And um, <clears throat> just an update from the last time I vlogged in regards to this particular plant. And um, without further ado, let's let's just start. So this was the smallest one. And now the new leaf that I showed you guys before actually opened. And there's another one that's going to start to sprout. I didn't know that that was going to happen, but I'm so happy. And you know what? I really do think um, what I'm feeding them, including the supplement, really does help. Because I have noticed a significant difference be when I wasn't adding the supplement. And it was just the fertilizer. And I also um, kind of changed the fertilizer a little bit. Um, anyway, that will be all down below what I'm using and um, look at that in the description section if you're interested and want to do that as well. Because, you know, I I see all these other fiddly figs and they're so huge. Mine is still kind of getting there. I really want it to grow faster, be very bushy and very tall because I'm going to show you um, my ceiling up here. I have cathedral ceilings and I want to fill it up to there and I wanna I'm gonna take off this shelving unit and put it in a different part of the house and that's really my plan but I really want this plant to grow first and um I just don't want to have any more curtains and I just want to do that so here's because this is like uh I think six plants in a planter I apologize if I don't really remember just because um I've endured several head traumas in the past few years and um it's it's taken a toll, and I am trying to get better, all that stuff. However, my memory, short-term, long-term, and I have amnesia. I have short-term, long-term memory loss, and sometimes I just can't articulate correctly. So the last time I showed you guys, like, these were only two, and now the two popped up, and there's extra two. So I'm incredibly excited about that. I do have edemas, though, and um, they were saying that it has to do with watering, so, um, I don't really mind the edema. For me, I think it's beautiful with that. And I did have other leaves that had edema. And what I have noticed is the more they have grown, the more they got bigger, um, the edema kind of went away. So, I'm not really concerned about that. Um, but um, they're growing like weeds, which is what I really wanted. And there's two coming out, which I'm very excited, two extra. So there'll be a total of four leaves now. Um, and this was just from like one one part that I pruned, you know. Um, no, I pinched. And there's one coming out. And I'm kind of hoping that there's going to be another one that will pop out after this leaf um, opens up completely and this leaf opens up completely. Because when this was opening up, I really, when this was starting to grow, I, and this one was two, um, I just thought it was going to be two leaves, but apparently it's four leaves now. So I'm really, really excited about that. And now we're going to go to the tallest one right here. And, um, it has a second growth. The last time I think I vlogged with you guys was, this was still kind of closed, like even smaller than this. And now it is, um... Now, this is even bigger than the last time when I showed this. And now, this is going to start to grow. And I'm really excited about that. I'm very, very happy. Like, every day, it's moving. Every day, it's just expanding. It's growing. I love it. So, I'm going to go and show you guys this one right here. This one right here, I think on my last vlog for this plant, it was still like a nub. Like, really, really tiny. It looked like something that was just dark and calloused and nothing. And then now, look at that size. You know, just the difference. And let me let me just go back. Whoops. Sorry about that. Let me just go back to this real quick, just so you guys can see in a different view. So, this I remember when I showed in my last vlog. This was still um, smaller than this and it was closed. Um, well, not as open as this one anyway. So I'll give you guys a better close-up to that on how much it has grown. And it kind of looks like it's going to have a third leaf right here. 
Um, that's just from my experience. I think that's what's going to happen just by noticing the new growth. It seems like when there's something else, cause this came, this is from this leaf. So this looks like it's going to be another one that's going to grow. So I'm really happy and excited about that. Um, this one right here has just kind of recently started to ha show something. I don't know if you could see it. It's a little blurry. But it's not focusing. I'm sorry, guys. It's not focusing. But this is really small for now. And I'm hoping on the next update on this particular plant, I can actually see. I show you guys some development on that. Um, and the tiny leaf is still cute and tiny. It hasn't grown that significantly. But it's here. Look at that little cutie little baby. Um, here's the other one. Here's the other one right here that I also wasn't thinking something was going to come out or sprout or anything. And something is. And it might be slow and is slower than the other ones. But it's there. It's growing. So that's really great. I'm trying to see if there's another one. Um, there's another one over here. Okay, let me just get over here. Oops. Let me just get over here. There's another one right there. I'm going to show you guys. It's starting to come out. Uh oh. Oops, it's not focusing. Sorry, guys. So it's kind of starting to come out a little bit. There you go. You can see better. So it's starting to come out a little bit. And um, I can't wait to see that. Like, I don't know about other people out there, but to me, when I have new growth, especially for my fiddly fig, because this is this was actually my first purchase. And this is um, the beginning of the end. Because after this plant, I really wanted more. I purchased another one. And it was also in a bundle again. And I split that all, and I do have um, other fiddly fig vlogs or plant vlogs that it's just the one, and it's just, they're, they were really smaller and shorter than this one when I first got it, and it was like a few months difference. So you can see the big difference in them. Um, I've learned a lot from this plant and also the secondary one that I split into a few different ones. I have learned a lot with this particular plant. Um, here's a tip, if I know then what I know now, keep it in a tiny pot. They are root bound and they thrive more with a smaller planter. Another is um, make sure it's next to a window. They need bright light. If you don't, in, um, if you don't, Make sure you supplement with artificial light and if you want any ideas on what I've been using for one of my plants, my fig leaf fig tree, that one is getting, it's it's not really getting a lot of direct um, sunlight. It's next to a window that doesn't really, that's bright, but it doesn't really get like the rays coming in. The other window that it kind of does get from there, probably get like two to two hours max on a great day and sometimes it's just bright light so when it's really dark I do supplement with an LED bulb and I will link everything down below so it's easy for you guys to check out what I've been using and it works um, it's thriving it never drooped it never had any kind of droopy leaves no I'm not losing any leaves no not no problem so if you guys want to check um, want to check that out it'll be linked down below um, so this is what my plant looks like and it's becoming really bushy and I just wanted to share it with you guys so initially I know it's like with the with the shelving right now and all that it's just I love plants and I really um initially before I decided to get this plant I was thinking I was gonna have like three four shelve uh shelving level and put on some smaller plants but then I saw this a friend of mine suggested to get her because she said I would probably really love it, and I do. So that's why I did that. But uh, my plan is once this is bigger and um, 
if I do decide to split this in different containers or different planters, this will just fill the window and I will take the shelving down. But because um, it's still not really there and I would prefer to ha have this than a curtain, that's why I still have my shelf. And I, I do apologize for the mess that I have. I apologize for that. It's just, you know, with the head trauma and a toddler and battling with anxiety and going to in and out of, I, I, I battle with having to fall into depression. And so it, it takes a toll. It takes a lot of energy to try and battle that and make sure that I do not go into that kind of um, issue because I really, I know that it's a, it's a hard situation to be in and it's hard to, to get out. So um, as much as possible, I just focus on my health my mental state and uh, my emotional well-being and having an indoor garden and having plants everywhere to take care of really does help and so I wanted to share that with anybody there that might might be going through what I'm going through or you know it might be a little better or worse than my situation try getting a plant um, start something simple and um, just start with one plant and then it really gives you something to look forward to. It gives you a determination. It gives you something to to check and see, oh, what developed today? You know, you get what you, you really get what you work for. And it shows. And I believe that does give you some endorphins in there. And that does make you happy. So, again, here is my new four leaves from this tree right here. Because this is one tree. And then the two leaves that I'm getting from this tree, which I am hoping it's going to, oh, it is going to have a third leaf right here. So I'm very excited for that. And um, I'll see you guys for the next update in this fiddle leaf fig. Um, I've been on, on the fence and switching it if I do, you know, transplant it and um, have separate ones. I go back and forth all the time. So when I do decide to split them up, don't worry, I will update those blogs as well. Um, I hope you enjoyed my video, that you're gonna give me a thumbs up. If you haven't yet, hit the subscribe button and the bell so you're notified every single time I do upload a new video. Thank you so much, guys, and I appreciate all the wonderful messages, all the wonderful comments, the support, all the love, everything positive, I love it. Thank you guys so much, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.